Okay, continuing on with the same question, which is October, November 2014, paper 4, variant 2, question number 10, part C. Okay, now in this question, um, part C here, we are told that to win the game, he must move exactly to the 100th space. Okay, Kenwin is on the 97th space. If his next throw takes him to 99, he has to move back to 96. If his next throw takes him to over 100, he stays on 97, and then of course he has a second throw. Find the probability that he reaches 100 in either of his next two throws. So let's think of all the different ways, things that can happen. First of all, I'm just going to make my little possibility space here. And that will help us in this question. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've already done it on the page, but I'll just do it here quickly. Okay, so we have the totals of two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we've got three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we've got, that's going to be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, there's the pattern here. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine ten we've got six seven eight nine ten eleven and you've got seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay find the probability that he reaches 100 in either of his next two throws okay so supposing he reaches 100 in his next throw he definitely has to get exactly one two three he has to get exactly three how many ways are they getting exactly three? Well, there's only two ways. Either he has a one on the first throw and a two on the second throw, or, or two and one. One of the one of the dice has to have a two. The other one has to have a one. It could be either way around. So it's just these two possibilities. So that's two out of 36. That's the first possibility. Then there's another outcome. The other outcome is, supposing his next throw takes him to 99. Okay, now, what is the probability of him getting to 99? Well, he has to get a two. There's only one way of getting a two. Okay, there's only one way of getting a two, which is when you get one and a one. So there's one space out of 36. However, he has another throw. He has another throw. Okay, so uh, then the next throw, he should, if he's going to get to 100, he has to get one, two, three exactly. So it's going to be um, only way of getting three is two ways. So it's going to be one over 36 times two over 36. Okay, one over 36 will um, give him a 2, okay, it's only one way of getting a 2, he goes back to 96 and then he has to get, sorry, he has to get a 4 on the next throw, what am I talking about, he goes back to 96, okay, so he goes back to 96, if he gets, it says, if the next throw takes him to 99, which is by getting 1 over 36, getting a 2, which is the probability of that is 1 over 36, he goes back not to 97 but to 96, you read the question carefully, Okay, now how do you get from 96 to 100? You've got to go one, two, three, four spaces. Now, how many ways of get, are there of getting four spaces? Well, there are three ways. You can either have a two and a two, a three and a one, or one and a three. There's only four spaces here where the sums are four. So, so three spaces here where the sum is four, so that's three over 36. Now, that's a probability that he gets a two, it means he goes to 99, go back three spaces, and then he gets a four. There's three ways of getting a four, if you get that combination. So that will tell me the probability that he wins on his second throw, that he gets to 100 in his second throw, okay, if he got to 99 first, okay. And then there's another scenario, it says if the next throw takes him over 100, then he stays on 97. So if the first throw takes him over 100, now, he has to move the total spaces of more than one, two, three. He has to go more than three. Okay, so the score he has to get is more than three. Now, how many spaces are there that are more than three? Well, there are three spaces that are three or less. So the rest of them must be more than three. So it's going to be like one over thirty, one minus three over thirty-six. Okay, that's going to be thirty-three over thirty-six. There's thirty-three spaces where the total is more than 3, in which case he would have gone past 100, and then he has to go back to 97, he has to stay on 97. If the score comes out as 
take him over 100, he has to stay on 97. And the next row, he has to get a 3 for him to reach 100 and win. And what's the probability of getting a 3? Well, that's the same as the first answer there, so it's times 2 over 36. If I add all of these different outcomes together, I should get the answer required. So let's have a look. We have... One second. We have 2 over 36. 2 over 36. And then you have plus... I'm going to put it in brackets, although it's not really necessary, just to keep things separate. I'm going to put 1 over 36. So 1 over 36. And close the bracket. And then I'm going to put plus. And then I'm going to put another... Bra um, sorry. I don't need the bracket there. 1 over 36 times... Okay, multiplied by... I'll put another fraction. 3 over 36. It's actually 1 over 12, but I'll just keep it in this form. Then I'm going to close that bracket. And then I'm going to put plus. That's the third outcome. And you're going to have 1 minus 3 over 36, which is 33 over 36. So I'll just write it as 33 over 36. 33 over 36. And that's multiplied by... Multiplied by 2 over 36. 2 over 36. And then I'm going to close the bracket there. And then I get my answer. Okay, which is 47 over 432. So the answer is 47 over 432 and there we have it so what do we do here let's just recap because this is a bit of a thinking question here it says to win the game he must move exactly to the hundredth space so he's starting at 97 so you want to find the probability that he reaches 100 in either of his next two throws so if he will reach it in his first throw he has to move exactly three spaces which is two two ways out of 36 of, of moving two spaces again, two and a one and one and a two. So that's the probability of the first outcome that he reaches there directly in the first throw. Okay, if he's going to get there in the second throw, that means the first throw he didn't get there, so either he got two, well, he can't go directly to 100 in two, he can't get to 100 in two throws um, directly, like he can't get a one and then a two, or he can't get a two and then a one. There's no way of getting a one here because you have to add the, the, the faces of two dice. The lowest you can get is a two. So in two throws, he can't go three spaces. He's, the minimum he can go is four spaces in two throws. So he can't go directly there like in two throws, like you know, two, two spaces in one space. One of these other things must happen. So either this happens where he gets to 99. Okay, if he gets to 99, and he has to go back to 96, and then... If he gets now four, he'll, he'll win. So the first throw would have to be that he gets a two, which is it's only one way, so it's one over 36. Okay, then he has to go back to 96, and now he has to get exactly four. All right, now how many ways are they going to get exactly four? How many ways are there of getting exactly four? Well, there are three ways. Three and one, two and two, one and three. So you've got to multiply that by three over 36 for the second throw. That's the second outcome. That's this second scenario here. Then you have, if his next throw takes him over 100, he stays on 97. So if the next throw takes him over 100, then he has to stay on 97. So how, how many spaces will he have to move to get over 100? Well, he has to move more than three spaces. Now, more than three spaces, okay, is everything except for these three. So there's 33 out of 36 ways of him getting more than a three four or more okay so that's the first stage but it says he has to stay on 97 and then if he's going to win it on the second if he's going to get to 100 on the second throw then he has to get a, a three altogether which is probability is 2 over 36 and that covers all the different outcomes and then you add these three different outcomes together so i have 2 over 36 plus so i should write it here properly so 2 over 36 plus 1 over 36 times 3 over 36 I guess a 3 there 
okay, plus 1 minus 3 over 36. Well, I'll just write that as 33 over 36. That's easier to do. So you got 33 over 36 multiplied by 2 over 36. Okay, we put that in our calculator and we got the answer as shown. And there we have it, this question answered. Okay, it's a bit of a tricky one where you've got to do a bit of thinking, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, thank you for thank you. For